Hi, Carol here, and welcome to my craft room. I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. And I thought I would just carry on with my mini. It's going to come to a close because I am going to sit this afternoon and try and get quite a bit of it done, and then we'll just review. Uh, what I took out was one of my Sizzix long dies. I took out three of them. I made a little suitcase that I, I have not even opened up this Sizzix uh, die. Um, and it's wonderful. It makes this little suitcase that we're going to do together. And I encourage you to go through your stash and find these things that we <laughs> seldom use. And I am going to put it on the one inch page, one of the larger insert pages right here because I know I'm going to have room to close it when this suitcase goes in here and I thought I would fill it with goodies to the person that I'm sending it to so they could open it up and have some little uh, little bit of stash there and so that's what we're going to do together it's going to go on this page right here but I'm not worried about that right now um, I don't think I've done anything to my flip here that you need to be aware of so let's set this wonderful book aside and do this technique together I chose some stays on timber brown ink I took out my distress uh, minis in the brown tones I also had a Sizzix die that made this beautiful frame so I cut this frame out. I mean, isn't it amazing if you go through your craft room what you'll find? Haven't used this before. So I cut this out and I cut a piece of acetate the same size as this. And I am going to make a pitcher with that, a vintage pitcher. So they can put a, uh, one of their memorabilia pitchers in it, of their family, whatever. And so that's going in there. I can't think. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I took out, remember I showed you how you can, I took out these packages because they have a ton of already pre-cut tags. And we're going to use those. And I took this out. I'm going to make some rosettes. And this is an alterations die. It makes five beautiful rosettes, so I thought, why not? That's going in this album as well. And it's going to need some brads, so I took out my gold and silver brads here. Um, and I am going to do it. Let's just empty some of them here. I like the ones that look like screws. Do I have those in gold? I'd like to do it in gold. Um, it's funny, it has a straight and a T. Um, let's see, in all of this there has to be, I think I'd even rather black than silver. Oh, this looks like, a, no, that's not a gold. Okay, so let's just find, uh, two straights and two let me see there that's good because the holes are a tad big they're large and see this this is too tiny see the hole here let me just show you oh that's not too bad Maybe I better check and see how these look. Yeah, I like the screws better because I want it to be a vintage suitcase, so that's good. Boy, better not. Remember, remember when Brad's were. <coughs> Sorry, I'm fighting with this pneumonia thing. Uh, remember when Brad's were like the going thing? I can remember being in Michael's and using my coupon a hundred times to get all different Brad's. You know. And now you seldom see Brad's being used. But what goes around comes around, so you want to keep yours. 
and I found this stamp I thought would go nice in this album as well so I put that aside so let's figure this out uh, I didn't come with instructions because I didn't keep the lid part to it I took it out of the plastic so we're gonna have to figure that out it has a, obviously this I did it in the Stampin Up paper I'm jumping again this is the lid, so I'm going to turn it around so it doesn't have anything on this side. It looks pretty simplistic. And then it just came with this piece, which obviously is a hinge. Oh, something decided to jump off my shelf. Uh, which is obviously a hinge of some sort, so let's figure it out together. And I took a couple of keys from the Heartfelt Creation key. That's the, that's the line I'm using the 12 by 12 uh, and we've used up pretty much a lot of it here it's the floral key design from heartfelt creation so we're getting down there and I thought I would take out some of these little uh, bracelet alphabet things that I got at a thrift store and put the word travel on there. When you buy bags like this at the thrift store, you're always amazed at what is in them. I just see something else. It looks pretty neat, but let's not go there right now. A couple of keys. This is the stamp set that I found for travel. I'm not sure who makes it, but it was in my stash, so we're going to use it. And let's get started. I'm going to sit down here. Let's zoom in just a tad. There we are. Okay, so I see that um, it needs to be scored. It didn't have um, real bright score marks for me to work with. So I think as long as you get it somewhat straight, you'll be okay. And... Excuse me. I think um doing a lot of thinking, aren't I? This obviously folds here to put the brads in, so see how it has this little wee opening here? And I'm not sure whether I should fold that down. I think I would just put the brads in for now and we will work around how it should be folded after. I am going to lay it flat, so I think I might have to take some of that. Let's see. Let's open those brads up. See what I mean? It's a bit overhang there, but we'll see. So I have one positive, looks like a positive negative. That's how I'm going to run with it. And put one here. It's always nice to get instructions and not get rid of them. But then at the same time, you get to think it through. And that's always awesome. There you go. Positive, negative. But I do see I want to remove that. I can't see it's going to benefit me. So let's take it off. Oop, keep it out there, Carol. There we are. And... Notice where you have the negative, it's not funny, positive, negative. And put that through. I thought this would be a fun embellishment to have in an album. You have to open it too. <clears throat> that would help. There we go. Yeah, um, the bread thing. Let's get back to the bread thing. I would love to know how many people were on a collector brad kick. Oh, I couldn't get enough of them. I have tons of these containers full of them. When I first started uh, crafting three years ago, man alive, I think the people at Michael's, because I didn't know anything else other than Michael's. I didn't know, you know, online stores or the things I'm familiar with now. So Michael's Hobby Lobby, 
I didn't go to Joanne's much, but Hobby Lobby and Michael's were my uh, pack a lunch and stay the day places. <laughs> I could only imagine what I was the talk of their lunch hour, I'm sure. Okay, so we have that. Now, it, <clears throat> it comes with a lid. So, I want to decorate this lid. And it comes with a hinge. So let's figure this out. Do I, the hinge, I would imagine, closes this. I'm going to turn this the opposite way. And I remember buying up Oh, I have so many Tim Holtz dies, Sizzix, big ones, the ones you don't need to have the, uh, you only need the two plates and pass them through. If I showed you, it would be terrible, be embarrassing. So I'm using them. I'm getting them out and I'm using them. So obviously this has something to do with the closure part, I would think. This must go down in here. And this goes down there. Now we're going to need, let's see, let's get it inked up. Walnut stain, of course. So grab an applicator. And if you're over on Stamp Nation, let me know. I'd love to know uh, if you use like, are you somebody that only buys exactly what you're going to use? You don't go into a store and... Oh, I love that. I have to have it. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't make yourself laugh, Carol. And you say, i got to have that. You don't know what you're going to use it for, but remember when you first started? It's like the... Oh, I was so captivated with shopping. Yes, I still am, but I would see a video and I was in my truck in three seconds off to see if I could find, you know, that particular thing. And <laughs> just thinking about it makes me laugh. I'd like to know if you were like that as well, you know, and now I'm more careful. Carol, are you going to use that? Seriously, are you going to use that. You know, how many paint sets can you have? I say all of them, because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I'm a proud hoarder. And, but those that know me well know I have not been shopping in oh, a few months anyway. I have not. I'm proud to say. So, I'm going to fit. I think this is so cutesy wootsy. But I do see, even though you're not going to see the bottom, you are going to see the corners. Okay, there it is. We have the box. Now let's do some stamping. It feels good to do some stamping. Let's lay this out. I think I'll stamp both of these. I was looking for some chain. I want to ch put some chain on these keys. And I was thinking of putting some corners on here as well. You know these corners? I might hide those edges. We'll see. We'll see. I could be working on an album for months, literally. I could work on a page for a month. I love it that much. I hate when it ends and you mail it out, you know, and you finally give it away. It seems like you're missing your best friend. Isn't that crazy? Let's get our stays on timber brown. Oh, look it. I haven't used this one. <laughs> I don't think I have. Oh, yeah. I, I always put a little glue dot down there to hold this, so I must have used it. Um, they come in so many beautiful colors as well. So let's get a piece of paper. Uh, Carol, you are a crafter. Let's grab a piece of paper here. I think my camera will focus well in black. Here we are. Does that help? And I thought I came in to just craft myself 
here without doing a video and I thought, well, why not just throw the video on and say hello to all your friends. Hello friends. And I am fighting this pneumonia is coming back with a vengeance. It's not been good. And that's why I just wanted to come in my craft room so I could, you know, not be overtaken with coughing 24-7. Okay, enough about me and my persistent colds. Okay, so you don't want, you know when you see old, I love vintage suitcases. Oh, don't even go there. I went into a craft store, one of my craft stores in the States, and I actually bought, she had it on display. I said, just tell me how much you want for it. It was a vintage suitcase. So I got it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It's like, and it was very reasonable, too. I didn't just, you know, make like I was a millionaire and say, just tell me a price. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm a thrift store person. It has to be reasonable. So let's just keep going. Here's an airplane. Let's make the airplane flying though, not coming down. Here's what I'm saying. This is where I love. There. Love it. It's so funny because People say, how can you spend so much time in your craft room? Like, don't you get bored? No. I get bored doing dishes, putting them in the dishwasher. We don't even do dishes today. Um, I get bored doing laundry, folding laundry day after day after day. But do I get bored crafting? No. There's never been a second I've said, oh, I'm so bored. I have to, I have to get out of my craft room. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> uh, isn't that awesome? All right, it needs one more thing. Let's do an arrow. And then we're finished. Then we have to figure out. Look at that. See if this is upside down or not. Doesn't matter. Airmail, that's cute. You want to make a few overlapping. You don't want everything to be. You know, there, that looks really good. Clean those later. Okay, now let's get some tape and put this together. And I want to thank you for always coming on my blog. I just realized how many people that subscribe to me on YouTube. If you're watching this, I want to thank you. And it's so cute. Can I just say this too? Because most of you are we're friends. You know, we comment back and forth. Um, okay, let me figure this out so I don't get uh, messed up because I'm talking. But um, there's this video. Yeah, you're not going to see that part. So which one do I want to... So if this goes down in, I'm going to have to use this. Sorry, I'm talking to myself here. Sometimes I like things on the outside, but I think this is meant to be on the inside like that. But I'm going to decorate this part. So because I made that error, because I'm talking... Um, anyway... Um, I have this video out and it was one of my first videos I have to tell you when I first started crafting it's called the dryer sheet um, reverse technique card I couldn't even watch it myself all the way through <laughs> you know when and my videos are not top-notch videos let me tell you I realized that but that one was not at all. I just messed that up a bit, so I am going to distress it, take it out. Um, and I, I have almost 15,000 views on there. 
and it's the worst video I put up. I was so excited to learn that technique, but I went on and on. I, well, I, did, I haven't watched it, I'm telling you, all the way through. I just can't. And that's the video that somebody put on there that I wasted a half an hour of their life. Well, now I can understand. <laughs> they were absolutely right. <laughs> oh, my. And it came up today. And then I looked and I saw over 800 subscribers. Thank you. I have 82 on my blog, and I think that's amazing. Like I'm blown away that I have over 50 people that would actually subscribe on purpose to watch my videos. And then I go on, and I see over 800 subscribers on my YouTube. I have not checked that out. I mean, it's crazy. Thank you. Do you think I should put that on the outside? I think I should. Yeah, so... <laughs> I thought that was kind of cute that I noticed that. I thought, wow, they're watching this one. Why don't they go watch this video? Why are they watching that one? Um, I don't know. It's crazy, eh? Let's see. I started talking again. Okay. Yeah, so that was kind of cute. See, I get talked to them now. Can you tell me where my devil side is right beside me? Yeah. So that was, um, that was amazing. Thank you, everybody, for your views and even your comments like that. I totally understand. Sometimes I watch videos and well, I can't, I've never negatively made a negative response on a, on, on a, on a video. And I'll tell you why. It could be a terrible video, but the time that this person took to actually put a video out there blows me away so I am never going to do a negative comment ever um, you know what I need here I need two strips to go down here so let's cut that out and I remember when you only could get stays on in black. Now you can. let's make these. Um, let's go this way, and I'll do half an inch. No, that's too much. Let's do a quarter of an inch. I saw this actually on YouTube, and the lady did. Um, I need. Uh, will that reach? Uh, she did ribbon, and I thought that was nice too. Yes, it's going to be perfect. It'll fold over. You know the straps you have on old bags? Uh, and I'm not talking people. I'm talking... Let me get this up there. That wasn't a good joke, was it? It's like the person that goes into a grocery store and the helper comes up and says to the husband, Can I... Or says to the... Yeah. Husband, can I help you carry out that bag and he says no she walked in here she can walk out on her own thank you very much I thought that was kind of terrible see what comes to your mind when you're crafting that's crazy it's like those things like you know hang ups you have like I don't like somebody saying about their mom and dad like the old man and old lady that just and this is my video so I can say what I want right but that irks me because that person sacrificed and raised you and and uh, I'm gonna go this way I think yeah so that's one thing that I don't like so when I heard that joke I thought oh that's not very funny and what's not funny shouldn't be repeated, I guess. So forget I said that. There we go. This is looking awesome. There, we made a little bag. I got to spend some time with you. Thank you very much. And um, this is not planned, as you can see. So this is going to come down. So make it as even as you can. I hope 
this is right. I'm not going to do it very, um, when this goes in here, this is to tuck, I think. So let's make sure that happens. Yeah, and I want this on the outside. So. <coughs> Excuse me. This is why I wasn't going to film anything because of this horrendous cough. But why sit and do it by myself, right? Trying to see how many minutes I have left. Not many. So I want to put this on the outside, but I want it to be even. So take your little box, put that on the inside. You want that to be nice and tight. Look at it this way. Maybe if I put it down like this. Let's see. Does that close pretty even? It's an old suitcase. Don't be worried about it, Carol. No, I have too much on this side. And not enough on that side. I guess you can see it from the back here. Okay, let's look at this. Now we can put it down. I'm going to put some Tim Holtz tissue paper on this with some Mod Podge all around the bottom as well. Okay, we did it. Look it. Now let's take our little hinges and these will go from the back perfectly even. Isn't that something? Okay, and then we'll decide what we are going. They should come right over though, right? So I'm going to start it here. I'm going to start my... Because I didn't... Let me see. I'm going to start it from here. I'm going to go right there, and then I will put little Velcro patches on there. That seems awesome. And then I'm going to put two keys hanging from a little chain. So let's stamp those. Vintage, I'm in my element. You know? Everything is exciting to do. When you like something, isn't it? I'm looking for my E6000. Because I'm going to put those. And I actually see these little tickets. I might put fly. Let's see if I have an... I have a whole batch of them, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put fly on there. So I'll put that out so I know it's there. Okay, so let's get some tape on here, and I'll upload this video for you. And it's just some inspiration, right? That's what we're here for, to inspire one another. And I thought this vintage went, this suitcase went with the vintage theme of this wonderful album. And I'm very encouraged by everybody that is following along. Take the tape off, throw it somewhere. It's amazing when you're not feeling well. You're not as meticulous. Okay. Oh, I got to get going. Okay, so I will show you this in the finished stage. I'm only going to tape it down there. I'm going to take the other one.